Okay, so I've got this person who's been commenting on a few of my videos the last couple days. They don't seem to care for the idea of anarchism. Anarchists are persecuted by status daily because of their ideas. Which is fine. They don't have to. I don't care. Other than what they advocate for. It completely goes against everything I believe in. But hey, that's their business, right? Anarchists advocate for voluntary society, which regards the initiation of violence unethical. So, this most recent interaction was just within the last few minutes, and basically, you know, they, they quoted James Madison, if men were angels, no government would be necessary, and then stated that the Founding Fathers were actually very wise men. They know not all humans are inherently good, but they also know that statism demands violent coercion and that voluntary, non-coercive interactions are peaceful. To which I responded with a couple of quotes of my own. Uh, as Fred Woodworth stated, if human beings are fundamentally good, no government is necessary. If they are fundamentally bad, any government being composed of human beings would be bad also. And then a Robert Higgs quote that's always great. In debates between anarchists and statists, the burden of proof clearly should rest on those who place their trust in the state. Anarchy's mayhem is wholly conjectural. The state's mayhem is undeniably factually horrendous. Statists postulate voluntary society is unattainable and demand anarchists leave their home, uprooting their family, and leave everything and everyone they've ever known for some other country which has a government of its own. Uh, then they come back and tell me human beings are fundamentally good when they are forced by law to behave. Pure fucking nonsense. If government was to fall and the police disbanded it, would be like that movie The Purge every day. Modern day anarchists believe only in their version of society. They believe in authoritarianism. Modern anarchist groups like Antifa, status claim anarchist views, are childish, naive, inane, and will lead to chaos and destruction. First of all, dude, Antifa is not anarchists. They're freaking fascists. Believe that any talk that goes against their version of social justice should not only be shut down, but shut down with violence. The only reason we have free speech is the fact that it's in the Constitution. All the while, ignoring the massive amount of carnage inflicted upon others worldwide by the current empire they expound. Which was written by what you call statists. Now, I'm pretty sure without that piece of fucking magical paper, I could still say pretty much whatever I wanted, and no one could do anything about it. Unless they stuck a gun in my face. Then it's violent, and then it's statism. Yep. Oh, gosh, this person annoys me. Anarchists are called names on a regular basis. They're told to live in the real world rather than their utopian pipe dream. Government is necessary because without it, the worst side of our nature would come out. You will notice any time the police stay home and refuse to police demonstrations. I, I, I don't even know when that happens, supposedly, but whatever. Anarchists are chided for being ideologues and idealists with a philosophy that requires a society full of angels. And riots. People are killed and businesses are destroyed. That's not anarchism. That's nihilism. The answer to a statist fascist like Trump, I don't even know why Trump is being brought into this, I don't give a crap about that maniac. Philosophy in this case is used in a derogatory manner. This is a strange phenomenon because the concept of statism itself is based upon philosophy. State-loving Thomas Hobbes' famous social contract is philosophy. Uh, is believing in classical liberal principles where even if we disagree with each other we allow the other person to speak you don't just throw shit at policemen and Starbucks doing that is just propaganda for Trump those images get played on government propaganda stations like Fox News and outrages the country and allows Trump to gain more control and hurt more people okay first of all this person when they wrote all of this they immediately turned around and edited it and changed it which is annoying as fuck because that means they're lying they cannot get their shit straight in one fucking co 
coherent, cohesive paragraph. In It's obnoxious. Knock it off. This leads to an interesting question. Why is the philosophy of external governance which relies upon the initiation of violence on peaceful people preferable to the statist rather than internal governance and nonviolent interaction? Because they lie to themselves. So then I reply to them, Antifa are not anarchists, get a clue. To which they respond, Antifa call themselves anarchists, you dope. They avoid the annoying truth about the state that is indisputable. That truth being, their government is nothing more than an institution with a monopoly on violence over civilization. A monopoly they would never allow an individual. A belief allowing certain people a cartel over others as long as it's given an official sounding name and fancy costumes with accompanying rituals. To then, I'm like, just because Antifa claims it's anarchist doesn't mean it is. You said it yourself in your last post, and I quote, They believe in authoritarianism. Modern anarchist groups like Antifa believe that any talk that goes against their version of social justice should not only be shut down, but shut down with violence. And I'm like, that's the definition of statism, you fucking moron. Piss off. The statist refuses to see the reality of the world because it is an uncomfortable realization, and they angrily lash out. They cling to their faith that a small group of people, granted unspeakable amounts of power, will be the angels they accuse anarchists of requiring. They did come back and respond to that, but I deleted it because I'm sick of their shit. I'm sick of their their crappy reasoning for why I need to be violently ruled over by fucking psychopaths all over the world. I'm tired of it. Got it? Thank you. Have a nice day. They point to different aspects of their establishment and declare that each branch keeps the others in check. Statists truly believe their system will regulate itself in a manner that serves and protects them. Not only does this not happen, but the authentic nature of their government is to constantly grasp for more power over them, never restricting itself. The philosophy of statism? Enslavement? and servitude.